So hello everybody, my name is Patrick, and as you probably noticed, I'm one of your speakers today. Um, I would love to tell you about the issue of overthinking, because when I was a bit younger, I used to struggle with that a lot, and I feel like it's high time people finally learn what are the consequences of overthinking, and how we can change our mindset to overcome that problem. Well, as you can see, Hashtags associated with overthinking have over 10 billion views on TikTok and almost 2 million views on Instagram, which shows that this issue is quite widespread. However, what actually is overthinking? Overthinking is thinking too much in a repetitive and productive way, which often leads nowhere. It's also overanalyzing and being stuck in an endless loop of what is. What if I were taller? What if I was smarter? What if I lived in another country? The thing is that overthinkers do not try to solve their own worries. They are just dwelling on the past or future events they cannot control, change, or improve in any way. When they make decisions, they instantly begin to doubt it and look for second option, third option, and so on. When overthinking, we are not acting, which prevents us from making most of our lives, making the crucial decisions, and simply living in the present moment, not in our minds, fixating on all those insignificant matters. But why do people overthink? For some people, it can be kind of like a defense mechanism, said psychologist Ash Carroll. She believes that dwelling on the most terrible scenarios or outcomes might seem as a form of self-protection. People want to feel powerful. They want to feel in control of their lives. Nonetheless, overthinking does very little to improve our lifestyle unless it hinders it. Many perfectionists are overthinkers. They are afraid of making the tiniest mistake or doing something not perfectly. And that's why they are dwelling on their tasks or problems, because they don't want to mess things up. Other people do not want to feel ashamed of what they do or say due to social anxiety. They don't overthink any of the social interactions and think what they have done wrong. And while they are overanalyzing their focus, they distance themselves from the crowd and any opportunity to talk to somebody new. In some cases, we do not need to ponder every single step that we take. For example, when we are walking, do we think about the motion of our legs? Well, the answer is no, because we have muscle that skill, and now it's automatic. However, if we do contemplate how we are walking, it requires our brain to think more and think harder. And this activity leads to cognitive fatigue, which defined by Lepers R and Rosal P uh, is a psychobiological state caused by prolonged or intense periods of cognitive activity and characterized by subjective feelings of tiredness and lack of energy. If we thought about every single step that we have taken or will take during our lifetime, we would overstrain ourselves to that extent that we would not be able to function properly. And similarly is with overthinking. If we ruminated on every petty thing, every petty step, we would not be able to not only strive for our best selves, but also to cope with daily stuff like our schoolwork, job, or relationships with other people. Can overthinking lead to different mental health issues? Well, it appears that this problem might affect our mental health in many ways. One of them is sleep disorder. Before finally falling asleep after a frosting day, many people start to create various scenarios in their heads instead of relaxing. What will happen tomorrow if I... 
and those spots block our brain from rest. And that's why we feel worn out all day long. Another trouble connected with overanalyzing is losing appetite. When we are frequently lost in our thoughts, our brain does not let come through any signals that we are hungry or it's time to eat. And that's why we often starve ourselves. The next consequences of overthinking are numerous headaches, body aches, stomach problems, or even sometimes depression. How can we deal with overthinking? How to overcome the problem? The first thing is to actually recognize that we are overthinking and not analyzing or problem solving. Rumination is rethinking situation over analyzing them without any intent to take matters into your own hands. While analyzing and problem solving is meant to help us find a way out of problem and to improve ourselves. Okay, so when we are aware that we overthink, there are a few ways to reduce it. One of them is finding some kind of distractions, some activity that is highly captivating or diverting. For example, meditating, going out to the gym, or holding a nice because then our brain is mainly focused on that activity and simply put aside all our negative thoughts. Sometimes we need to look at the bigger perspective, at the bigger picture, which means that we should wonder if this issue floating in our head will affect our life 5, 10 or 15 years from now. Will anybody care that you set something down? like 2 plus 2 equals 5? No. People have their own worries to care about, and usually they don't have any time for extra concerns. Getting our thoughts out in the open, whether by writing or a conversation with a close friend, is another strategy to combat my thinking. The key is that speaking or writing should clear our mind, free it, and not deepen our worries or any concerns. And the last thing that I want to tell you about is probably the most petrifying for many individuals. Taking action on matters that we can control. However, replacing rumination and overthinking with any kind of beneficial action is not always as simple as it might appear. In order to do so, we have to at first gain some confidence in what we do, think and say. But how? Well, there are plenty of ways to boost our confidence. But I want to mainly focus on one. Have you ever wondered why actors seem to have such high self-esteem? Obviously, they practice that because it is their job they must be credible to convince the audience. Many of them, like Robert De Niro, are excellent in their profession because to prepare for some of the roles, they used the method, known as method acting, and described by the D. Strasberg Theatre and Film Institute, it trains actors to use their physical, mental and emotional self in creation of a character and stresses the way in which personal experience can fire actors' imagination. So they use their personal experience to get into a specific role. The method, known as method acting, is an American version of a system developed by Russian theater practitioner Konstantin Stanislavski. In his system, Stanislavski made use of emotional memory, which requires to feel emotion rather than act. For instance, to prepare for a role of a hmm, reckless psychopath, uh, an actor would have to recall the moment when they felt unstoppable, when they felt invincible, when they were, cap when they were capable of doing literally anything. And the same as with us maybe accept this reckless psychopath. 
Imagine that you want to build confidence We're in a conversation with uh, new people. You have to think, you have to find in your memory uh, a situation when you felt as confident as ever. For example, when you told your friends extremely funny joke that you were very proud of, or when you went into the hallway in the pair of new sneakers. Then, you have to picture this moment as vividly as you can. Pay attention to how you sounded and looked. Can you feel this self-assured, this optimistic, this confident attitude? If yes, we can move to the last step. You have to see yourself during the conversation with new people with the same confident attitude. You have to feel it. You have to act it. And then just go for it. Look for a new opportunity to talk to somebody new. And that's this a splendid example of analyzing and problem solving and not overthinking. So, to sum up, overthinking is quite serious matter that might affect our mental health in many ways. Nevertheless, we can cope with that issue using various techniques, and one of them is gaining some confidence through acting. So, don't overthink, act instead.